Welcome to KGE Travel Series Part 2. Sunglasses, two for ten. Could I get those? Thank you. <laughs> this way. Hey, slow down. Oh, look at that. Scooter Squad. Go, go, crypto. God, boy. What's water? Public figure. Look at this. I'm getting on one of these ropes. She's just bouncing all over it. Segway squad coming back, rolling in deep. Is that a guy? It's a girl. Oh. How old is she? She's two. Oh, oh she's tiny. Yeah. What about yours? Uh, he's like two and six months. Yeah. Dude, so much bigger. She's <laughs> tiny. <laughs> yeah. Right? That's what I said when I first yeah. her. What's her name? Mika. Mika? They make a really good girl. <laughs> I need baby mamas either way. She wants them. <laughs> mm. Mika. Hello. You go out a lot with her on the board? Yeah, with him, yeah. Is that an electric one? No. Uh. He's the Prius. We're going back to the car and he's still going full speed. He's going to sleep so good tonight. They are building something there. I have no idea what it is.
Grab them! Mm. Since this was my first trip, I did learn a few things. I'm gonna go over some of the things that I realized. That's a huge nail. If you guys did not know, I actually do hate cities, big cities, and LA is probably the biggest city. KZE, why do you hate big cities? No, bro, stop being a bro. One thing I did notice, besides of course the heavy traffic, everybody honks. There's a lot of honking going on. Crypto want a bar? I thought my city had bad drivers. It might be the fact that there's way more people. The drivers in LA are. Look at that plane. <sighs> They're so hefty. Crypto behaved absolutely beautifully while we were in LA. As long as I fatigued this dog, he did absolutely perfect indoor. He didn't piss anywhere. I was always taking care of him. When you do travel with your dog, it's extremely important you always have an eye on them. Since they are unfamiliar with the area around them. He absolutely loved running all throughout Venice Beach. There was no stopping him. He was running for most of the time, which is really impressive. couple things you want to carry the most important thing of course their food i did feed crypto canned food pedigree canned food when we do go out and do stuff he really doesn't seem to enjoy kibble i knew i needed to keep this dog re-energized and it worked as a really nice alternative for kibble portable dog bowls is that a mr peanut is that a mr peanut these are Mr. Peanut dog bowls. These came extremely handy when I was feeding him either food or giving him water. Dog bowls are a must when you are traveling with a dog. The drift trike is at the moment not working. They said that the fuses were somewhere in the wheel assembly, which fuck that. Videos on when this was working will be coming soon. That's pretty much all the important stuff. You just want somewhere to give your dog food and water. Other than that, they should be able to survive. Poop bags. It'll be really embarrassing if you go out and he shits somewhere and you have nothing to pick it up with. That would be the worst. This trip to LA was somewhat unexpected. I know I didn't let you guys know ahead of time. I know you guys are always curious about fan meetups. KZE, when are you going to do a fan meetup? Fan meetups will be in the near future. <laughs> as far as how well did crypto do with long distance, this was his longest distance traveled, which was around five hours. No stops. Will I be making further distances? I'm not sure on that one. I'm pretty sure LA will be the farthest distance I will travel by car. Now that doesn't mean I wouldn't take this dog on an airplane. There are a couple airlines that do allow dogs with a small fee. Like I've said in my previous videos, the main goal for this channel is to build a bug out van and actually travel to every state and visit many different dog parks if you guys don't know what a bug out van it's pretty much a van that you pimp out to make suitable so you could live inside of it so that would be the all-time goal with this dog there would be a lot i need in order to get into that that at the moment is pretty far-fetched does not mean it is impossible Hot fruit. Overall, this experience was an amazing experience. Venice Beach was very beautiful. If I was to go during the summer, of course there would be booty popping out left and right. I would probably overdose on confidence. I also didn't visit any of the dog beaches. I might have to do another trip to LA when it's hot. In other news, the fruit did get his collar in. I did do a poll and asked you guys what I should make his collar say, and you guys chose if it walks. I'll smash the fruits life motto. I wasn't expecting that many homeless people to be living out there. 
As far as how much did this trip cost, I did know someone that lived in LA and they let me stay with them. The housing expenses were completely obliterated. Huge shout out to that person. The most expensive thing out of the whole trip probably be that damn speeding ticket. I shouldn't have been going that fast, but you know what? I thought the Nissan had VTIG. That's gonna go ahead and be it for this one. I do have more footage of when I took crypto through the walk of fame. Like always, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. So subscribe for more peace feel free to follow me on instagram and on snapchat at kze underscore production